Hey, this is real quick. Um, Hip Hop Atlanta, um, Dirty, number two, but this is really episode three. I just uh, want to do this quick, 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 like very quick. I know all of my other ones said quick as shit, but it been long as shit. This one is really quick. Um, I just want to get my thoughts on it. I don't really want to break down whatever happened step by step and shit because it was still irrelevant. Um, I just want to get my opinions on the fact that uh, Carly Red, you need to sit your red ass down. Um, your butt look like a, a pillow that smash overdue for a new pillow. So sit your ass down um, somewhere with that blanket booty. Um, and what else? Young Jock, you need some um, need something to clear that throat up. You need some hot ginger ale or something. Something to clear that bitch up. Because I'm tired of your hazy voice. And you know, like shit. Shut the fuck up. But I mean, you men are easy like that. Um, far as like Carly Red, um, um, what was I about to say? Carly Red's uh, basically wooing you back in with sex. I mean, that's all y'all men easy as shit. But you know, so that wasn't hard. Um, yeah, but y'all relationship is whack as shit. But yeah, you was funny as shit when you were saying. Um, you should have been holding my hand like that. Like he was holding Jeremiah's hand and shit. <laughs> I was cracking up laughing like shit. Oh, Carly Red. Please do get, go somewhere with that wiggy wig that you have on. Please. Like you need to do another style or something. I like the one you wear in the confessionals uh, far as um, um, far as uh, your hairstyles. Because that little wiggy wiggy you know 1980 ass lace front wig whatever front lace whatever you call that bitch i'm a real natural wearer so you know i don't be doing that shit i do want to try um what you call it the uh the indian one that my um runmate my runway model uh aunt yeah runway yes she's she's like a six foot five eight with heels you know yes work but um she wear the um the wet one ah, i'll come back with the name but you know i want to try it um sheena's hair euphorium and it's the virgin indian uh hair and it's the versatile one the one you can um get wet and all that and still make a nice uh shape on your head and everything like you know wet or dry you have a good hairstyle with that hair but i want to i do want to try that one because it uh, fits towards uh, girls with natural hair and you know naturally long at that so you can just extend it but back on track because i'm always going on track and shit I'm always saying i'm going to be less than i am um but the episode was clearly like you know extra scripted again um yeah, the funniest the funniest thing of the whole thing was the young jock and Carly Red shit. Um like Justin J said, watch they're gonna try to make this shit um uh up about something happening with uh Bambi ass. That fucking miscarriage that she had was weak as shit. Like nobody gonna Yeah, I didn't have a good day. You had a good day? No, I'm trying to call you from the hospital as soon as I got there. Why he running up the stairs and shit like this uh, off some dramatic movie and shit? You should have been running to the hospital like that if she, if her ass really had a miscarriage. Bitch, don't fuck with our minds. We know y'all fake as shit. Like, we know y'all fake as shit. Just call this the young and the restless, bold and beautiful with some shit. But this ain't no reality, bitch. Like, you're not selling shit. We won't react like that. No, we're going to be mad as fuck or we're going to be happy as fuck. So I know uh, really scrappy want to be like, yes, yes. Now I could be back with my boo. Yes. But let me feel a little bit sorry for you, you know, for what you went through in your time. But I ain't really want to be with your ass. That's what he really wanted to say. I wish that shit would have happened. Not that little bed scene and crap. She all acting like she's sick. You're not sick. You never had anything. You were without anything. And then uh, Mama D or whatever try to come over and 
her bipolar ass need to take off that wiggy wig wiggy bitch but um try to make some soup and don't try to act like you was making no soup i seen you switch that soup out of the daggone chinese carryout bag and um and uh put that in a freaking pot and stop heating it up bitch you ain't cook shit there ain't no home remedy your ass bought that from the store and just uh try to hurry up and empty it into the pot Bitch, you ain't fooling shit. Your ass don't cook. You look like all you do is buy freaking microwavable food and shit. But anyway, that was why that that was weak as shit. And she all in her little jammies or whatever, her little robe and crap, all acting extra, got less makeup on. By the way, you do look uh a lot more human with the makeup off. I think you actually look prettier with the makeup off than with it on because with it on you just look stale as shit like fake you know like uh uh like where's my skin under here like all I feel is like like a, other layers and shit you know but anyway that's just my opinion you look better with the makeup off Bambi you know as, as good as you can look um but y'all scenes was fake as shit Mama D don't want to do that shit she just want to be in the camera for some reason you know um and who else am I about to slaughter am I about to slaughter uh did they talk about Mimi at all y'all remind me whether they talked about Mimi or not because if they did I don't I don't remember shit about that and no I don't think she was really in this one too much but I know they did talk to uh uh what they call Dawn uh, that's uh, Stevie J and uh, Jocelyn Hernandez. That's, <laughs> but that's both of their um, the girl that used to handle all their finances and everything. Don't ever uh, fucking fire somebody that knows all your dirt like that, unless you have dirt on them to use. Like, no, never bring this shit out. Or you know what I'm gonna bring out? You know, you always have some something in the background to, to cover your ass. Stupid ass bitches. And she was throwing all y'all cars out there. Don't get all mad. She just trying to throw any receipts out there. That's the receipts, bitch. Like, that's the receipts. Don't don't get mad. You trying to make up something now. Like, we already know y'all asses was broke. And we already know, like, everybody in Atlanta be written out houses and shit to people for that certain season, you know, and then the owner like, oh, shoot, I get free money off of uh, VH1, Bravo, all, all that, whatever. Ch uh, channel or network want to rent my ha my house out because I'm up in Europe. Y'all can rent my ATL house out, but uh, y'all must vacate in the winter because I'm coming back to my house and shit. Talking about something. This is where it really belonged to. She threw all them cards out there shit and walked out. But girl, don't don't fake. You was going to come back for that jacket. You just try to do a good walkout scene. It would have been stupid if you came back. Like, whatever. No, no, whatever. Shit for my jacket. Give me my jacket, bitch. Cause I know it's cold out there in Atlanta, Georgia. Especially when we be crossing Atlanta to go to um, Orlando, south of the border, and all that, just to get to um, Georgia and Georgia to Jacksonville and Jacksonville to Orlando. Anyway, that's a little family trip, Jane. But um, yeah, that was weak and wacky shit. Um, and uh, what else? My balls fucking went by. I don't feel like fucking hearing his mouth. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else went down? I don't know. Like, if anything else was really interesting, like this, this episode was whack as shit. But it was funny as shit because young jock funny as shit. Should have been. You should have been touching him like that and touching me like that. It's like swap meat, flea bucket, flip. What do you say? Wrap, get, get it out, whatever. It's done. I don't know what the fuck he said, but I, it was funny as shit though. I was going between that and the um, Bachelorette, the Bachelorette. Yeah, that that whack ass show. I'm gonna do a review on that too, cause I gotta fry uh, some of them dudes that came up there uh, for what's her name, uh, Andy Andy something. I forgot that broad name, but I'm gonna need her to uh, wear some closed toes shoes if she wanna do a close up on them feet because uh, all them coins. That was uh, 
and I say coins, not corns. But I say that because that, that drink was pop, 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 like some kernel popcorn all over her. Kernel corn head ass on her feet. I swear. Please do open toe when you're doing close ups and you try to look like a princess and all that because them kernels did not look like princessy, you know. That's where the glass slipper went. Damn, you've been wearing that for decades because all them coins on your deck feet. I swear. But, you know, that's it for uh, uh, Hip Hop Atlanta um, episode. Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. I'm sorry, loving Hip Hop. I got to say love and shit, even though there ain't no fucking real love in there. Only love in there is probably Erica. Dang. I'm sorry, I keep messing up shit. I keep keep uh making my camera fall but ain't no love and shit in there but uh probably uh erica uh and um uh, what's his face uh scrappy but they keep trying to fake just so they can fall. oh i'm sorry just so <laughs> just so they can prolong their storyline and shit but um yeah do what you gotta do like subscribe uh comment on my um channel you know pass this pass this shit around you know everybody trying to get up i'm trying to get up there so all right i'll holla uh do what you gotta do bye